Hi everyone, my name is Mirko and I'm on my trip to show you the archaeological sites or some archaeological sites in Sardinia. I am in southeastern Sardinia, not very far from the capital city of Cagliari, just south of Tertegna. And here I had to walk about one kilometer. We find this strange monument. There's a barn in the backyard, in the background. That's what you see, and we have this sort of a tower that you can see here. And uh, now I'm going to the entrance. Here there's a big opening. <coughs> and voila! We have a little corridor, some kind of corridor. paved with big stones, flat stones. There's a cup hole there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, now it should be visible. And now there's this shaft going down a few steps. And we have one of those sacred wells of which the island has over 120 it's really isolated, there's nobody here. You see there's a, the water here and there is some kind of window up there. I'm gonna go to the top now to show you how it looks from above. Anyway, the water is fresh, very clear and it's supposed to be a powerful ancient site for water rituals. Really amazing here in the middle of nowhere to find such a place. It wasn't easy to get here, as I said. As There's indications but the road was closed at a certain point so we had to walk the last kilometer on a dirt road. It's a really amazing place. Now I'm going on top to show you how it looks from the sides. It's a real big construction, looks a little bit like a nurage, just much smaller. I haven't seen many, the most famous is Santa Cristina. <coughs> if you're into Sardinian archaeology, you probably heard of that one already. It's actually quite different, even the main structure looks the same, but it's really with precisely cut stones, whereas this one is more, let's say, rough. Okay, I climb on top now. Here we go. There's a room on top, and in the middle of the room, there's the window going down to the sacred well. So it's really particular. I haven't seen anything like it before. Usually there's just this chimney going up from the water and then there's the ground. But here they decided to build another sort of a Nuragi tower on top of the well. But yeah, this really looks like Nuragi. There's even an entrance there or what used to be an entrance or was supposed to be an entrance. There's really a lot of contrast, so I try to zoom. Maybe you can see it better. Yeah, there. Okay, here again, you see Deborah on top. She is 1 meter 60, so the whole structure, I'd guess, is around 6-7 meters high. And another peculiarity, there are some kind of little benches, stone benches on the sides. But it has been restored, so we're not really sure what was there already and what was created later. But the interesting thing is that when we go again a moment inside, you see that light, that's not some artificial light, but that's the sun entering from the top. It really gives, gives it a feeling of, I don't know, yeah, it's sacred, it's a holy place, that is for sure. 
it is tendentially a rough construction many small stones but we all have the characteristic seen in other wells with a inverted stairway on the top and the main stairway going out into the water and continuing into the water it's hard to say what the original plan was maybe the water level was lower usually there's one two steps in the water from previous experience but everything is on its own in this con in this island so you're never sure it doesn't have to be that the plan from for one side is the same for all the other sides so in this one i can see so far one two three four five at least six steps in the water maximum i've seen in other sides was two or three but most don't have any steps in the water they're all outside the water i guess it's quite deep because i entered till the third step and it was already about 30 centimeters so i guess well over a meter in the deepest place in the water you can see the reflex of the shaft of the chimney going up over the water well and in the end it's a little bit rounded which is quite classical in this case it's not exaggerated but as I said maybe at the bottom it's even larger but there's now a lot of water, probably rainwater, accumulated here, which gives it a more. Uh, it doesn't make it look so wide as it probably used to be. Anyway, pretty interesting sight. <coughs> Thanks for watching.